After the Dachau concentration camp was liberated by the U.S. Army's 42nd and 45th Infantry Division in World War II, there were deserters from the Soviet Army found wearing Wehrmacht uniforms. These deserters were known as Hilfswillige, or Hewis for short, which meant voluntary helpers in German. The motivations for Soviet soldiers joining the German forces were diverse and complex. Some deserters may have been driven by personal survival instincts, seeking better treatment, food, or shelter under German command. Others may have held ideological or political beliefs that aligned with the Nazis, such as anti-communism or a desire for independence from Soviet rule. According to the Yalta Conference, the deserters were to be handed over to the Soviet-controlled lands by the Americans. The deserters knew they faced severe punishments, including torture in the gulag, anguishing labor and execution. The deserters begged and pleaded, sealing themselves into garrisons. Tear gas was used by the American soldiers before storming in. But by the time the barracks were forced open, dozens of Soviet deserters had already hung themselves. Many were cut down from the rafters but were still conscious and were screaming in Russian, pointing at the guns and begging the American soldiers to shoot them rather than sending them back. The deserters who fought alongside the Nazis present a complex aspect of World War II history, influenced by a range of factors including survival instincts, political beliefs, and individual circumstances. Their actions remain a controversial and sensitive topic, reflecting the complexities and challenges faced by individuals during times of war.